Welcome to Monday Morning Huddle. In today's huddle, do you worry that you can't keep up with guest experience because your hotel isn't the newest or you're just a select service hotel or you don't have a big enough budget? I'm going to share with you how you can shine just as big and just as bright and it doesn't matter how much you spend. Many of you know about my 50 for 50 journey. Just in case you don't, I'll quickly refresh. When I first started my above property role with Marriott International and I knew I would be on the road traveling across the United States, I said, hmm, I wonder if I could hit all 50 states before I turn 50. At the time, I was 47 years old and I had only been to seven states in my whole life. So I had 43 states to hit in only three years. Could I do it? You know the answer. Yes, I can. (laughs) One of the quotes that moves me to this day is, a dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. A plan backed by action becomes reality. Say it with me, everyone. Ooh, ah, fabulous. Am I right? I have goosebumps. (laughs) Every time I read that, think about it. Now, this is why I'm so hyper-focused on our goal setting each month. Let's make our dreams come true. That's how easy it is. Right there. That's how easy it is. So I had a dream. I wrote it down, and I broke it down into steps, and I got intentional. If I just went into each week not paying attention, I never would have hit that goal. But I tracked. I made plans with intention to reach that goal, and then my son For Mother's Day, he bought me a scratch-off map, which even made it more fun for me to reach my goal. As I was coming to the home stretch, I hit Hawaii. And then I said, well, oh my God, how am I going to hit Alaska? I don't have time to take a cruise. I don't know why, but in my mind, I thought the only way to get to Alaska was a cruise. (laughs) Uh, So just for kicks, I put it in my United app. What it would be, you know, can I fly to? to Alaska, what would that cost? You know, thinking it would be thousands and thousands of dollars. And it was only 19,000 miles for me to use my miles to get there. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm just going to go to Alaska for a long weekend. And I brought Bunny with me. (laughs) This is so incredible. I don't know why, but just in my mind, that was, you know, that was one of those locations that is so extravagant that it takes a lot of money and a lot of time to get there. But it was like a four hour flight (laughs) and it was direct. When I returned, I realized I only had one state left. Yes! And then as soon as I realized that, my excitement fell. And I was like, oh my God, the state that I left for last after this whole journey was North Dakota. How could I have left North Dakota for this great adventure as my last state? I I honestly couldn't believe it. And I'm like, what am I going to do in Nothing Burger, North Dakota? So I was going to turn 50 in December and it was November and, you know, North Dakota is freezing and that's the last thing I want to be is freezing. And so I said, I better get it done now because the sooner the better with North Dakota. So I looked and I Googled it and I saw that Ed Sheeran was coming into concert. So I bought a ticket for one. I booked a flight. And I just went for an overnight. I literally just went overnight. (laughs) Now I Googled what to do in North in Fargo, North Dakota. And the number one attraction is to go to the visitor center to see the chipper. (laughs) The chipper is apparently, I never saw the movie Fargo, but apparently in the movie Fargo, that's where all the bodies were being chipped up. Okay. (laughs) So this was their number one attraction. Wow, that's something. So I went, I loved the concert, and on my way to the airport, I asked my Lyft driver if they would do me a favor and stop at the visitor center because, well, when in Rome, and as I was doing that, I was trying to get a selfie of myself, and two ladies who were working the center came up to me and asked if they could take a picture for me, and I said, sure. Then, of course, me being me, I had to tell them my whole big mission and my whole journey. And I said, I'm here because I've been on a quest in all 50 states, and this is my last state. And they both stopped in their tracks, and they said, oh, my God, do you have a minute? And I'm like, yeah, sure. (laughs) They said, follow us. And we went into the next room, and on the wall, it said, save the best for last. I 
couldn't believe this. They made the whole thing into a massive destination for people. I got this shirt. You can see the shirt that says save the best for last. They gave me a certificate. They put me on their Facebook page. And apparently there are thousands of other people who saved North Dakota the best for last. I was completely blown away. I am not a crier and I literally teared up. I could not believe what was happening and how special that they made it. They took this nothing burger steak and made it into one of my favorite memories of the whole journey. I've probably told more people about this than, than the Grand Tetons <laughs> or my trip to Hawaii or my trip to Alaska. I've talked about this so much. Now, of all 50 states, that was truly one of my most favorite memories. And I mean, is that freaking cool or is that freaking cool? So, so why do I tell you this? Because we might not think that our 30-year-old courtyard is special enough. Our Hampton Inn is big enough or our independent brand is prominent enough. But it's not about being the biggest, the most well-known, or having a massive budget, or being brand new. It's about how you make people feel every day. That state made me feel like I was a celebrity. Like I had just won the golden ticket. Like to this day, I'm still getting goosebumps telling you about it. This shirt, honestly, I had no idea what I was going to talk about today. And I looked down at my shirt that I was wearing and I'm like, hot damn it, Mala, man, I'm going to talk about this. <laughs> this is literally how this happened today. <laughs> so the 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 t-shirt, did that t-shirt cost a lot of money? Does that paper certificate cost a lot of money? Did, is putting my picture on their Facebook page, did that cost them a lot of money? Heck no. That's about about maybe maybe ten dollars a guest that they that they do this for and the promotion and the word of mouth and the the social media attention that they have gotten over doing this program is astronomical which i found out later after looking into all this and telling people about it so does it take a big budget to put games out on your communal table or make someone the guest of the day or to throw confetti when someone just achieved a new status? How about sending a welcome email that says the first person to respond is going to get a, a, a hundred bonus points or maybe a thousand bonus points? Do you have to have a brand new hotel to recognize a guest for their anniversary or congratulate them on their brand new elite status? Do you need to be a major brand to create an incredible memory for a family on their first vacation by maybe putting an in-room scavenger hunt in the room? or welcoming a group with a banner that says welcome or a light board on the desk welcoming them, or having a sign just as they drive out of your parking lot that says, go get them, tiger. <laughs> Heck no, it doesn't take a lot of money to do any of those things. But each and every one of those things make people feel special, make people remember you, make people wanna talk about you. We all have this in our ability. Your success is not about your four walls. It's about the people inside your four walls. Which brings me to my last point. These two ladies who made this so special for me, who brought this whole experience to life for me, if it was, if it was some burned out coconut who was simply going through the motions because that's their job and they have to do it. Yeah, great, you saved the best for last. Here's a t-shirt. If that was the case, I probably would not be telling you the story right now. These two ladies were more excited for me than I was for myself. And I can confidently say that I would bet that when these two ladies wake up every day, they say, I get to go to work today and create memorable experiences for people. I'm so lucky that I get to work for the North Dakota Visitor Center. Is it the Hawaii Visitor Center? No, but I bet you they love working for the North Dakota Visitor Center. If you don't feel like that when you wake up about where you're going, chances are your associates don't either. It's your energy that begins it all, and it starts right here inside our hearts. 
Are you proud of your building, no matter how small or old or how small your budget is? Or do you think that you're going to be proud when you're a full service GM or when you're the GM and not the AGM or when you have a bigger budget to spend more money on your guests and associates? You get to serve the people inside your building, your associates, your guests, your vendors, your stakeholders. You get to protect and enhance a multi-million dollar asset that brings home life-changing profits for people. You, you get to use your experience and brain power to run those multi-million dollar assets. You, you do this. You manage multi-million dollar renovations like Nicole is doing right now. Did you ever dream that you would be doing that? I, I didn't. <laughs> You get to provide livelihoods for many people to live their best life. And you get to help leaders and develop them to become their best selves. You get to make normal guests feel like celebrities. And you get to make celebrities feel like normal guests. You get to do all of this right now, not when. Right now, you get that. How lucky are we? <laughs> Always appreciate and respect the massive, important impact you are making every single day and that the big stuff in life is really all about how you make people, the people around you feel. And that starts with how you feel about what's around you. Your challenge this week is to share with us something you hashtag get to do. And bonus challenge, I want you to look around all the transactions that we make each day. What could you do to take one of those transactions, nothing burger transaction, and turn it into an experience? And I want you to share it with us. All right, my friends, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I love you guys so much. And I cannot believe that I get to run this multi-thousand dollar company. <laughs> <laughs> and serve and support all of you every day. I love you. Bye. <laughs>